What's going on you guys? Today we are gonna bring back some old school stuff that I've done a while back and even like a year ago made one and that is some virtual sparring. Now we haven't done this in a while and so for this video I tried to do something a little bit different. Try to bring it up a level. It may be up a level, it may be not. You're gonna see when you get to it. I'm gonna explain a bit of it to you right now and kind of break it down but I'll leave a timestamp in the comment section so when you come back you don't have to go through all this uh, talk and chit chat again. But what's different about this video is a lot of the emails I get are on how to see punches coming. So this virtual sparring, what it is, is it's a shadow boxing tool. It's a shadow boxing visualization tool. Obviously it's not going to replace the conditioning of the bag work and the training. It's not going to replace the sparring and the partner drills. But when you are shadow boxing and visualizing, it allows you to see what those combinations and what those punches look like. And then you can start to figure out, okay, what's the right defense once you've learned that? What other defense can I work? What kind of counters can I throw? And you can start to play with it. And this is what happens for a lot of people get into sparring is that they've never actually had a double jab right hand thrown at them. So they don't even really know what it looks like. And then they don't know how to defend it and block it. So let alone throwing your own offense, but the defense and it really uh, can be very confusing. Even if you've been sparring two, three months, you might have a hard time getting the hang of some stuff because certain opponents don't go to the body or they only throw the lead hook once in a while and when they do it's in a flash, you don't really get to see it. So here you really get to see the most common combos. What I've done is I've broken down the clips. So instead of a continuous flow of sparring, I got six rounds of clips of the most common combos and then I've sort of stacked them and mixed them up and jumbled them almost like uh, it resets. So we'll see how easy that is on your eyes or whether you have a hard time with that. Most common combos, the jab, jab to the body, right hand to the body, right hand lead hook. One, uh, I got the one, one, two, I got the double jab. I got the one, two, three, I got the one, two, three, two. I got the overhand right and an undershot. I got the one, six. So the only one I actually don't have there is just the straight one, two. Uh, I've got tons of combos in there for you to work with. Now ways that you can use this. First time through, depends on how experienced you are, you might just want to keep your hands up and just see it. See what it looks like. Get used to seeing what those punches look like, what the patterns are. Because when I watch this in slow motion, if I freeze frame, freeze frame, you will know what punch is coming. And that's what you're doing is you're training your eye to recognize from here to there what's happening, from here to there what's happening. And you'll start to pick up on that even though you don't know you're seeing it because it's happening all kind of fast. Next time through, you may want to work it, work the defense. Okay, catch, 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 bump, bump, bump. What kind of defense do you like to work? Certain combos give you a hard time, come back to that. Then next time through, you can work on your counters. Okay, here, you know, bump, bump, boom, you know, bump, 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 boom. Dun, 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 dun. You start to work on your counters and coming back, you're thinking it through, you're working it through. Then when you're in the gym, whatever, you can now see that. Okay, here comes the one, two, three, cha, ba, 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 ba. Or maybe you're in a pattern of always countering the same way. You always counter the one, two, three the same way. So you gotta think, okay, I'm gonna counter it differently. Work on different counters with this one, two, three. The other thing I've done is the first three rounds are normal speed, uh, one, two, three, and then four, five, six, I sped it up 5%. So if you get used to those first three rounds, then you got a little something to look forward to in the next three rounds, it's just a little bit faster, coming at you a little bit more zingy. So there's a lot that you can do with this. Take your time, work through it, even just one combo you see, you may see it and go, whoa, and then you just go off and pause the video, go off and just work on that. You know, master that. Somebody throws, wow, what does that, how do you deal with that? Build up your visualization and reaction. Once you start seeing this stuff enough, not just in sparring, but in between sparring, always seeing it, you're gonna know what it looks like mentally. You're gonna be able to slow things down and catch on to things a little bit better. But give it a run, uh, leave your comments, uh, like and subscribe, of course, double jab that subscribe button. And maybe don't even judge it right away. Give it a few goes before you really see, okay, is it helping or not? See what other ways you might like it and leave your feedback. And I look forward to hearing from you. All right, have fun with it. Peace.